St. George's is one of the few places we found in Belize where you can fish for both tarpon and bones in the same day. The tarpon fishing starts at daybreak and ends about 6 o'clock. Here I am on the dock at exactly that time of day, and I'm about to hook one. At, in the evening is when the other time you're able to catch tarpon off these docks. Uh, it usually runs from maybe 7 o'clock at night until 9 o'clock. And uh, I had more success in the evening, but uh, had more fun when I could wash them a little bit during the day. I just fished with an 8-weight rod, a uh, sink tip line here, and use streamers that are mostly used for bonefish, so, so they're very small, usually sizes 6 to down to maybe a 2. I ran out of flies on this trip. Uh, these fish are so strong, I don't have shock tippet on. There he is. There he goes. Let's see if he'll do it again. I'm sure he will. Uh, it's nice to have them on for more than one jump. Usually they snap it off in the first jump. I probably lost 40 flies on this trip, and that wasn't fun either. Lizards around uh, a dock like this are the piling you see in the water and also obviously all the supports under the uh, dock itself. Uh, it's just one of the hazards you have to deal with. Fortunately, this one did not break my rod in half. He eventually wrapped it around something underneath the uh, dock and that was the end of it. Here's what happens at night. Uh, this particular fish was probably about four feet long and had to be a good 40 pounds or so. And I was able to get him in after maybe 10 or 12 minutes of fighting. Um, as it turned out, I wasn't able to release the hook, but I, was, I popped it off so he uh, got away quite easily. It's also no fun trying to take movies at night, so you have to accept the fact that it's uh, kind of a long way around. Here goes another one near that piling, and that one wrapped me around that one too. So lost a lot of fish. I was out to paddle over to Little St. George to see if we could fish it, and I saw a big fin come out of the water. It was not a dolphin, some kind of black fin, uh, a shark that I don't want to meet close up and personal. So we were usually fishing off the beach that you can see in the background right there, but now it's full of boats and squatters that have taken over that island. Lots of nasty dogs too, so that caused the probably a biggest problem for our bonefish. We used to go over to that little St. George Island and fish the beaches that are on this side and the other side. Uh, had quite a bit of success there. There's really no wade fishing on flats at St. George Island, so we're stuck with fishing off these breakwaters. Every day I saw and caught a number of bonefish that worked their way along this wall to feed in the mornings, and that was fun. Uh, the bonefish aren't big here as they aren't anywhere in Belize. Uh, most of them ran one to three pounds, and I suspect over the course of this whole trip, I only released maybe a dozen at most. It's really disappointing to not be able to paddle out in the kayak and fish those beaches on the sides of uh, Little St. George, and it might mean we'll never be back here again. But we did catch a few other species. Uh, none of them were uh, barracuda. But uh, some were uh, yellow snappers, mutton snappers, uh, needlefish, and I caught a couple of very nice-sized uh, horse-eyed jacks.